This machine's variously beeping at me and uh, doing SC. I put it onto a uh, tumble. It's got a kind of a filter sign flashing and it's got a, it looks like drain out the thing thing. Uh, so we'll have a look. I think the filter's probably okay. Filter's fine. Let's check. Oh, beeping again. Sure, could shut up, couldn't it? Let's check the filter in here. It's not a filter in here, but there's another thing. It's called. That's kind of getting clogged up. That's about six months of stuff. But what I think is happening is not this either. Let's just try and tease this out. No, it's not gonna. Well, it'll come out a bit with this brush. need to kind of hook it out really because I'm just pushing it in. I've done a lot of work on this machine before when it comes to lint and uh, a lot of work at getting this stuff out. I'm using my nail to kind of grip it. It's not ideal either on my nails. Um, it's a bit out of there. What I think it means is that the pump at the back is blocked and this is not a job I want to do right now but laundry is not going to dry itself so what happens is the dust, the little lumps of fluff which really shouldn't be going through the filter, but they somehow do. They go and get stuck in the pump down below. Stop beeping at me. So I've made a video previously about cleaning this and I'm kind of thinking, well, I don't really want to do it again because you've got to take the whole machine to bits. But I bought this thing, which is just a, it's wrapped in plastic at the moment, but it's just a sponge filter. And on machines like this, you'd have one of those in here nowadays and so I'd need to make it's not it won't it won't it's got a gap above it there so I would need to make like a little inset tray to hold this or like a little piece of oh just a little piece of plastic on the more modern or the more recent machines I don't have one of those so I'll have to make one but I've been waiting to get around to it and I can't be bothered because the machine keeps working but as you can see it's fluffed up a wee bit there let's put this fellow in fact you want something that would go like that so we need to make a little outrigger on here uh, a leg and a frame and a cross member or something to just hold a piece of filter that piece of filter that i paid i don't know five quid for a bit of sponge all right close that it's going again i don't think that's the answer i think it's the pump i think it's the pump the pumps water up to here probably has some stuff in it Let's get into the back of it and just have a quick look. So I was just in the two minute process of cleaning the machine out and it's gone bing 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 again and I'm gonna have to get in. It dropped right down to 140 there but I don't know, one, one hour 40 if that's what it is. I've pulled the machine out in here. I need two screws and hopefully we'll get this off. So I've taken out the two screws. Let's see if this, yeah it does, it just wiggles out. Okay, so this is the whole pump unit actually coming up, uh, coming up like that. I don't want that. So this is the back cover. This is the return hose that comes up here. Um, I don't know, from the back, I think. Is that the pump hose? Was that on correctly? Yeah, it probably was. And so that's the return hose then, just draining. Yes, that, that makes more sense because there's a rubber seal here. This one is the pump hose, goes up to the top. So this is the pump. So let's disconnect that and just try and get out of the way. That's the return hose. Let's not mix them up. Try and keep them over there. This little fellow is the pump. And it doesn't like the fact that there's water in here. I'm guessing this guy. So this guy doesn't like the fact that there's water in there. I guess. And this guy here should be pumping. There's the pump. That looks okay. I wonder if I can turn it on again and see see what I can do with it. Let's just try turning on the machine. There it is, it's pumping. No 
water in it though, so what's it? What's going wrong? There's no dirt in that or anything like that, so I don't know why it's giving us that error. Unless SC, I think it was SC, is something else, the SC error. Better put this one back as well. In case there's a mess. Hmm, I don't know what's going on. Well, just, it would only took a couple of minutes before, so I'll take that off. Take this out. Put this back on. So I can't, I can't fill the water up so it won't leak back on me if I don't have the thing in place. Oh, it's pumping now, look. That's better, it must be water for it to pump. Let's put that on like that. It doesn't take much for it to, to work. You can hear it pumping. It stopped again. Let's get this cover back on. First, return pipe it's to sit in there. Then this cover can go back on like that. Use my toe to hold it in place because I've got a camera in one hand. Now it's not pumping right now. So I don't know if this is cured because I haven't I don't feel like I've done anything. Tighten that up for now so I don't lose the screws. And what I would like to do, I'll put that back on there for a second. Up on top of the machine, I've got this hose, and I found this in a bin. So what I'd like to do right now, so I was thinking about doing this and making a video about it, but I haven't got around to it. So I'll put that over there. I'll put this in here, like this. That should just push on like that. And that clips up, and that's exactly the same hose, except it's a bit longer. If I put that up here, I can just put that into the into the sink. This thing's a bit wet from draining out that thing earlier on. I drained out the water tray from that machine. So I'd like to put this in here. Could I just lie it over like that? It doesn't really want to hang. Well, it'll hang. It'll hang like that. Okay. And so now it should just pump straight out and I should never have to empty the water drawer again. Granted, I've got this beside a sink and I don't really want to leave it there forever, but that's where we are. I'll leave it for now. It hasn't shut out already, so it might be finished. If it is, that'll be the end of the video. If not, I'll edit this bit out and uh, come back to it. It's gone down to three minutes, which is good. Looks like it's working again, which is bizarre. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So if you don't hear any more about it, then questions or comments, leave it below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Sweet. That was an easy repair. I don't even know what I did. Yikes.